you know, I've spoken this topic before, similar to this anyways, and I'm going to speak on it again into deeper detail because this is what it seems like what's happening in the world today. And I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but you know, we all live different lives and have different experiences, but at the same time, we all have very similar experiences and we might not all experience the same things, but I know this is what's going on. And for those that will relate, will relate. For those of you that can't relate, you might not relate, but you might be these people we speak about. So I don't know. But what I've noticed in the world, bro, is so many people want you to support them all while they don't even support you. This is what I've noticed. Bro says, come pick me up. Come buy me this. Come buy me that. Do this for me. Take me here for free. Come pick me up. Just for nothing, go <laughs> at your day and your valuable time. Just come do this for me. Just for nothing. I've never done nothing for you before. I don't really care about you. We're not even close friends, but come do this anyways. Just because it's me, just come do this. Like, are you joking, bro? Like, we, we, ain't, even, we ain't even friends. We ain't, we ain't even that close. And you expect me to do these things. Why? Because... I might be further ahead in life. I might have the ability to do it, but why am I going to put myself in a position where I'm getting used by people I'm not even really close with? This is the whole point of this video, guys. Stop being around people who don't even care about you that are going to use you and not even really be close with you. They don't want to grind with you. They don't want to be friends with you. They don't really want nothing. They just want to short temporarily use you for something. We, we ain't dealing with these people, bro. You know how many people, bro, in the past that I've been associated with that these things happened? Never again. I'm not putting myself in losing positions, bro. It is not happening. I put myself in win-win situations with my boys. And a lot of the time, I still benefit a little bit more. I still bring the benefit a little bit more to them. Always doing extra, always doing more. Always giving more energy than what is required. I'd be giving more of the benefit still because it's just who I am I'm naturally a giving person but I'm not putting myself in positions where I'm blatantly being used it ain't happening so they want you to support them all while they don't support you at all when it comes to anything these are the friendships family members relationships bro I've had all these things Actually, not relationships. Surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly, I've never really been used in relationships. It was always pretty good while it lasted. But when it came to friendships, when it came to family members of the past, these things have happened quite a bit. And these are things we all must cut off. It's no good for us. And the funny thing is, is when we do this, these, these same people come and look at us as such greedy, bad people. Oh, he or she just thinks they're so good now because of this. They just don't want to do nothing for us now, bro. It's when you say no one damn time. You say no one damn time. And these people are upset. I had a cousin in the past that I was close with the majority of my life. And in 2017, I cut this guy off completely. That's like six years ago from right now. And the reason this happened is because he just would not stop, bro. Like, he had these problems. He got into kind of like a drug problem. And he experienced some issues in his life. 
He used to be a stud, and he got into some bad stuff. And he changed a lot. Started drinking a little too much. Started partying a little too hard. Got himself in some trouble. Got himself into a bit of drugs. And he kept coming at me all the time, wanting to borrow money, wanting to do this, wanting to do that. And it just got, it, it became too much. Like, I just, I told him straight up, like, I'm not lending you money anymore, man. Like, there, there'd be there be a time where he wouldn't even pay back. There'd be times where he was late paying me back, and it, it just became annoying. Like, I'm not doing this. Like, I'll do this this last time, and this is what happened. I told him this last time. I'll lend you this money. You pay me back on time. Tell me when. Pay me back on this date, and you better do it. So I did it this last time, and I said, but after this, do not ask again, because I'm not doing it. Like, I just, I don't want to do it, so don't come to me. And he said, okay, I agree. I won't do it again. This will be the last time, buddy. Okay. And he paid me back on time. But a week later, bro, I swear, man, I swear, man, this is the last time. This is the last time, man, I swear. I won't do it again. Cut off. And this just isn't, this just isn't one incident. This has been going on for too long, and I warned him many times. This is what people, bro, that are a little bit crazy will do. And you have to do the right thing. You have to make the right move. Some people got to go, bro. Doesn't matter how close you were with them. If people want to be disrespectful like that, bro, and, and not respect your boundaries, we talk about this often. They have to go. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's your best mate that you were, you were friends with since childhood. I don't care if it's your damn first cousin. I don't care who it is, bro. They gotta go. So you can grow. We don't want people around us that's gonna be pulling us down. We want to elevate. We want to further pursue our missions in life and become better. We're not even close to satisfied with who we are as human beings. We're going to do way better, bro. So to have that type of energy around you and it's disrespectful because people are basically telling you, I don't give a shit about you. I don't care what you say. I don't care about your boundaries. I'm going to keep doing what I want to do selfishly. And I don't care to do all these things to you. I'm going to keep putting you in these uncomfortable situations. That's what it means when people break your boundaries, bro. They're telling you they don't care. They are telling you they don't care. Even like, let's say if you're talking to some girl or let's say you're some girl talking to some guy and people just don't care to screw you around and waste your time and do crazy shit. Like these people don't care about you or your time. They'll tell you lies. They'll say things to get things out of you. They'll do whatever they can do. They don't care. We don't deal with unsupported people, bro. Unsupported people in 2023 are getting out of here completely. Completely. I still have people to this day trying to do some shit like that, but I don't pay it no mind and I don't feel sorry for saying no. I got to a point, bro, I don't even feel one bit bad or sorry for saying no to what I want to say no to. Some people do. Some people still feel that guilt and, oh, I want to do it for them because they asked me and all this. I don't feel that whatsoever anymore. I can say no to anything. I could ignore anybody. I could ignore your messages. I, Whatever, bro. Like, if it's about you just gaining, 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 gaining off of me, it's too much. I got enough shit to deal with. The better you be, I, I, I would argue the better you become... People don't understand your life in your shoes. I would argue the better you become, the more strict you have to become as well. The more responsibility you have. When you're just a nobody, you can do anything you want at any time. You don't have a whole lot of responsibilities. You don't have a whole lot of nothing. You can do whatever you want all the time, but the better you become as a man or even a woman, things get hectic. Things get busy. Things have to go unseen for a while. It's just how it is. People be wanting, demanding too much from you, bro. 
the amount of shit I gotta deal with, the amount of people that hit, hit me up, the amount of people that do this and that. It's wild, bro. It really is. And even people where I come from, bro, asking this and asking that, and what do you want from me? Just because I got some shit together? Like, what, what, what do you want from me? People, bro, you work so hard to become who you are, and people think they now should get favors from you because you're so far up. And if you're that person that's so far up and you're just giving it all these favors, you're using all your time to give favors, 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 and nothing in return. Like these people don't understand. There's so many people chomping at the bit at you, which you're the bit. They're chomping at you. They want so much from you. They want your time. They want your energy. They want you to drive them here. They want you to buy them this for free. They want you to buy them alcohol for the weekend because you're up. And they probably brokies. Like it could be anything. It could be anything. But this is what happens, bro. This is why you got to become more strict the higher you climb in life. Because everybody wants something from you. They want you to support them and their needs all while they don't support you at all. Because they feel entitled. They feel they don't need to. They feel the need to just take. Because you could give. But if you give everything, you're left with nothing. Your energy bar is down. Now you got nothing because you give everything you had. To everybody in the world, so now nobody has anything and now you don't have anything. Because you gave a little bit to this person, you gave a little bit to that person, all to the point where you now have nothing. You see how this works? This is how it works. This is why you set boundaries. This is how it has to be. You still benefit, but guess what? I do too, motherfucker. People be wanting you to give handouts, bro. All over the place. That's not how it works. And the higher you climb, the more strict you have to be. This is why multi-millionaires, people that are balling, don't deal with certain people. Why would they? And then certain people come out and be like, Oh, well, this person just thinks they're this and that. You don't understand the life. The higher you climb in life, the more you understand how the world works and how things are. Everybody should be selfish with their time and energy, bro. Everybody. Life is about figuring things out. It's about problem solving. It's about doing the right things. And elevating. But you can't elevate if you have negative people around you. You can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can't. So I had to cut certain people out, bro. And I still do more than I even should today, to be honest. To be honest. I still give people more than I even should. To be honest, I really do. Because it's just who I am and it's never going to change. It'll change to an extent. You'll get more strict, but you'll still be that person at heart. That giving person. You might give less, but you're still giving. And that's kind of where I'm at. I can't speak for you guys, but this is how things get, bro. The further you climb, the more strict you have to become. Because everyone's gonna want something from you, bro, and you got a lot of people. You got a lot of people, bro. People from the past be showing up, people from here be showing up. They want you to support them all while they don't support you. What happened when you sacrificed so much and you were at the bottom and you had nothing? You were starting pretty much fresh? Nobody was to be seen. Nobody was to be seen, bro. As soon as you start doing good, oh. Look at him. Let's hit him. Let's hit a hit. Let's hit a let's hit him up now. Let's see what he's doing now. Maybe we can hang out with him now. Maybe we can get something from him now. Maybe he can give us a good time. Maybe he can invite us to his pool party because he's balling. He's got a mansion now and an underground pool outside. Oh yeah, let's hit a, let's hit a him up now. Be real fun. There'll be some hot hot chicks there. It'd be balling, bro. 
You think I'm going to answer these people? You think I'm going to let these lames that did drugs their whole life and drank and partied into my place? <laughs> you're out of your damn mind, but I don't care about you. I used to know you. I don't know you no more. And you're not my friend. You never were. We knew each other for such a short amount of time. Never saw you forever, and you think we're popping. <laughs> you know what? No ill will, but we ain't that. We ain't boys. We ain't nothing, really. I'm not going to hate you, but I just, I don't want to fuck with you. It's my choice. You made a choice, now I make a choice. This is how it is, guys. You can reward the people and bless the people that have also blessed you, but if it ain't about that, bro, why would you? Why? So you can get used? So you can have people around you that's... They're not there for you. They're, they're there for what you can really do and provide. <laughs> we're just not allowing ourselves to be used, bro. That's all we're doing. We're not bad, selfish people. We're just not having the shitty ends of the sticks when it comes to every damn person that comes our way. We better than that, bro. That's not the people we're going to be. We're not going to be the people pleasers. Oh, yeah, give everything to everybody. Why not? These people don't even give a shit about us. They don't give a lick about us. But, yeah, let's just do that. Great idea. Nah. I'm good. And you should be, too, you know, without me, like it was the whole time. You know, I used to think, I used to thought we were boys, but I guess it never was that. And you never cared to stay in touch. You never cared to, to even do anything, ever. Years and years and years and years and years and years and years go by. And they think at one point in time, they see an opportunity. They're gone because they're opportunists. They're going to come in when they, think it's, when they think it's valuable enough to them, to their needs. My needs, my needs. Fuck your needs. <laughs> we ain't boys. We ain't nothing. I'm out.